Curtis here. I'm going to talk to you a little about my top octave synth here. A uh, project I wanted to do for a long time. It's uh, loosely based on the PAIA Oz. I wanted to do a small uh, key deck like the PAIA Oz was, which was a kit that was available back in the, the well, back in the day when people were really interested in uh, kits of that sort. Uh, basically, what we're doing here, we are polyphonic, full key band polyphonic. Um, we're using a top octave system. Uh, basically, uh, the top octave is a divider and there's one oscillator running at a fixed frequency. I'm actually using a, uh, I'm actually using a, a 555 timer uh, clocked in at roughly one kilohertz. Uh, I believe it's one kilohertz. Um, I brought it into where the keys came in tune, so, uh, um, and I hit it on the first try, luckily. Um, uh, top octave ICs are pretty hard to find. I had to I purchased a, a whole set of circuit boards to uh, to an old Hammond organ, uh, Hammond transistor organ that had been uh, disassembled. Uh, purchased all the boards out of it on eBay for twenty dollars with or twenty or twenty five dollars with shipping, and uh, uh, got the one IC I needed. Uh, they do have new old stock ones still available on like eBay. They run right around a hundred dollars each. Uh, people don't want to let them go. Um, did a little extra, came out with a pretty good sound there. Uh, then I wanted to play around with that a little more, so went with a delay line. Um, I'm a delay, delay line is based on the PT2399. Uh, I actually pretty much use the uh, the circuits pretty much the the uh, uh, straight out of the data sheet uh, for the PT twenty three ninety nine with some modifications made. Uh, Valve Wizard, I believe, would be the site. They were actually it was geared more towards guitar, but it made it work very well on here. And uh, um, on his circuit, he used a. Uh, uh, fat to have trailing tails and you shut it off. I just threw a switch in. So if I switch it off, the delay still follows through from the existing. It just quits processing any new delay line. Um, also, noisy switch. Kind of felt like a phase shifter could be. actually works and um, basically it's uh, one oscillator and just doing a breakdown of it right here for now we have an oscillator I am using a 555 a lot of guys are gonna say that's a it's probably not gonna be my permanent oscillator but it's actually a lot more stable than I thought it would be and um, it takes about four minutes to warm up but on startup it will go back into tune I do have a fine tune knob on there um, but it will go back into tune every time. Uh, it takes about five, about four minutes for it to warm all the way up, and it goes back to the same place it was set. Um, out of the 555, 
uh, oscillator running at about one kilohertz. I'm not sure exactly what I'm running at. I haven't checked. We go into a series of two divide by twos. Uh, CD4013 has a divide by two on each side of the IC. So we have one CD4013 doing a divide by two and then again a divide by two. We're passing that into the top octave IC, which is, I believe mine's an MS0240, but uh, MO83. I believe they're the, they're the same pin out. They may be a different top divisor. What's going to happen here, there's going to be one large division. Uh, some of them were 420-something. Some top, top octave ICs were designed to run a 1 kilohertz oscillator. Some were designed to run a 2 kilohertz oscillator. Um, so basically... At this point, this is broken down into the output frequencies for the top octave on the keyboard. Um, so basically, you're going to get an output per key for each of the top octave. Now, I had to adjust my oscillator in because my top note is not C. So, then... I have more keys than an octave. At that point, each next key, we just step up, do another divide by two, and that becomes the key signal for down, 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 as far as you want to go and keep dividing it until you run through the next octave, and then you start picking up this octave and divide by two again. Um, that comes out on a single bus on the keyboard, which passed through a passive low-pass filter. I had to have quite a bit of low-pass filter here. Um, there's a lot of noise comes out of that top octave I see. Uh, with no filtering at all, you can actually hear every tone coming through, droning real quietly in the background. And uh, all kinds of uh, noise from the, the uh, real high pitch. The best description I had of it it, before I added the low pass filtering, which it took almost nothing to get rid of it, one, uh, one uh, 0.47 microfarad capacitor to ground just totally wiped it out. Um, but basically, it sounded like a, uh, a room full of sewing machines running with a droning hand on a keyboard, um, and that one cap just cleared it right up. Um, bring that on over and pass it into the PT2399 delay circuit, which is on its own board in there. And then the phase shift circuit that's in there is actually based on the old uh, MXR uh, phase 90 uh, with a couple of modifications I did. I uh, One, I'm using uh, instead of the FETs that shift the, that control the shift of the phase from the oscillator, I'm actually using uh, LED LDR combos there to shift, uh, mainly because I, I originally built that to go in my mono synth, and I wanted to be able to use different uh, triggers in, and I figured it'd be easier for me to control LED inputs, but uh, it didn't work out as well as uh, the output voltage of the uh, uh, my my mono synth is so much higher that it uh, caused a caused an issue. It didn't phase well. It, it wasn't a, wasn't very uh, audibly noticeable. So basically, in here, uh, basically what we have sitting in here, this over here is the uh, phase shift. Um, that's a Basically, I broke down the phase 90 in single op amps so that I could experiment more with it. My LED LDR combos, I made made them up homemade. <clears throat> um, the LFO for this is actually placed on this board right here. Uh, we have an extra amplifier right here bringing this signal back, this audio signal back up. We lose a lot in that chain. And the final buffer out on the MXR Phase 90 didn't bring it up very much, so I just added in an LM386 to kick the signal back up. 
everything over here. This is my uh, <coughs> PT2399 delay. Um, underneath all of that, you'd have to see we're double layered. We have the oscillator right there. And the top octave board sets right in here. And it's just basically the top octave's a IC with a bunch of wires on the board is all it is. And a few resistors, a resistor per wire, but that's about it. Um, well... So, uh, if anybody's interested in a further breakdown of this, I could probably break it down a little further and draw up the schematics large enough to see, or I'm thinking about trying to put up a website with some links to these. So, if anybody's interested, you know, uh, uh, let us know, and maybe I can get a web page up and going with links to some of these different projects I'm doing and where I found the schematics, and thank you very much for watching.